Hi, so you want to know what is the scope of data engineering in 2024 and you need to know what are all the top skills that I have to be get prepared so that I can get into data engineering in 2024. Yeah, this is the video for you. So let's get into the topic and let's discuss about what are all the skill set that is required for you to enter into data engineering in 2024. And even if you are an experienced person already you are in data engineering, so you can also still watch this video. So, that, so whatever the skill set is missing, you can add it as part of your skill set. Fine. So uh, the very first thing is all about Linux. So Linux is always an important part of the skill set in data engineering because all your environment and servers are implemented. The infrastructure is all implemented in Linux only. So with respect to Linux, what is the roadmap? So in Linux, you have to learn file handling commands and then process handling commands, network commands and search pattern matching. And finally comes to scripting. So scripting is very important because most of the companies like they do scripting in two languages, either it could be shell scripting or it could be Python scripting. OK, so for automation purpose. So it's better to know shell scripting as well. And the next part is SQL. So SQL, that is SQL or SQL. So it's very important as part of our data engineering skill set. So SQL is the because we deal with data, right? So SQL is the most important point. So with respect to SQL, what is the roadmap? So you need to know DDL commands, DML, DCL, TCL subqueries and allies group by order by and then joins and functions uh, window functions and var so these are the some of the commands and topics that you have to be very good in okay even in interviews people will still ask you questions and scenarios from sql okay and programming language so when i say programming language i preferably ask you to go for python because even in big data we use python and spark as PySpark, or even you can go with java or scala but i used to prefer python because python is not only for data engineering like even you move on to the next level career into data science or ml or deep learning or ai the python will be really helpful for you right so in python what is the roadmap so python like we don't want to get that much into python okay we just need to know the very important topics alone for being a data engineer right so basics of python like architecture and what is the internal functionality and how the compilation process happens and then oops concepts like inheritance class object polymorphism etc functional programming and string handling exception handling jdbc connectivity and then collections and basic data structures and pandas numpy and pytorch so these are some data related libraries so this is what enough with respect to learning a programming language right so then other concepts like apart from this what you need to know like it is very important to know the etl concept in theory it's not practical because practical is what we're going to do in big data like spark hadoop right so in theory how the etl process happens and what exactly it is and then you need to know data modeling so data modeling is one of the leading skill set with respect to data engineering okay it was not that much important before in data engineering but now data modeling is an important aspect in data engineering because data modeling is something like people used to think only the senior uh, developers and architects used to do but it is not like that now even a uh, junior developers and mid-level developers is also getting and work on top of this data modeling part so, so how you are building a table right and how you are creating the relationship and and more on more with respect to this data modeling concepts are there so this is also like we have a lot of books and videos available in the internet so it's like a theoretical information of what exactly the data modeling is enough so you just can watch a video or you can learn a book right fine so now let's get into the big data right so in big data we have two leaders right hadoop and spark if you take spark it's it's enough to go for spark badge and spark sql so when i say spark badge it's all about rdd transformation and actions and then if you get into the spark sql it's all about uh, uh, data frames and data sets right so and then in hadoop hdfs and hive uh, hive is slowly fading out but i'll tell you what are all the alternate that comes into picture but still knowing hive is uh, really good to understand other query engines in the market okay so you can ask me what about spark streaming spark streaming and kafka is also becoming a wonderful combination but we can keep it as a optional and last uh, skill set to learn okay and then orchestration scheduling tools so orchestration and scheduling tools are becoming very famous and in big product based companies and service based companies there will be a team to take care of it but if you work for a mid-level company or a startup then you have to take care of the scheduling and orchestration tools like airflow and kubernetes so for this also you can watch one video uh, where uh, just know how to schedule a spark job on these two that is wide enough you don't want to get much into these orchestration that is a reality and fact so the next is visualization so visualization is not a mandatory skill set for a data engineer but knowing that is good so let's keep that as an optional and if you want to pick a visualization tool you can go with tableau right and the next is cloud right so cloud has become a very mandatory skill set as part of the data engineer so what are all the things we need to know so let's consider some of the leading cloud providers and you can pick anyone because we are not aware like which cloud provider 
service has been used by the company that you are going to work right so let's consider the top three google cloud azure and then aws fine so these cloud providers provide big data as a service that is fully managed big data cluster which is already available in the open source environment right the apache flavor of hadoop apache spark the same thing they are giving us a fully managed cluster if you take aws the cluster name is emr elastic map reduce and if you take google cloud it is google data proc and if you take azure we call it as an hd insight okay and if you take these cloud providers they also provide their own unique big data services also okay if you take this data proc or emr or uh, hd insight it's the it's the same apache hadoop and spark they just installed it in their environment and they are giving it as a fully managed service so this is not their own unique system if you take emr also has spark data proc also has spark hd insight is also having spark right but if you take their own unique big data service right so example if you take hive as i said hive is fading out so what role the alternate for hive hive is a big data service right now these cloud providers provide their own unique big data service other than the fully managed cluster for example if you take google they provide google BigQuery, and then in google there is something called cloud storage and if you take aws they have something called redshift and athena so these are some of the alternate for hive okay and for transformations and processings you can use it and if you take azure right they have synapse sql and then data factory so these are all the some of the tools apart from the general big data system these cloud providers provide their own unique services for big data okay that's how they are like attracting the market I recommend you to go for bigquery as a first thing next okay resume preparation so when you start preparing your resume make sure you have all the skill set in your resume try to repeat the keywords that is very important okay so when hr search for it they will search with a keyword so you have to repeat lots of keywords in your project description skill set tech stack and everywhere all this hadoop spark airflow bigquery cloud these terminologies should be get repeated in interview right talk about optimization and challenges because everybody will explain the project as same right? there is a 10 candidates who are sitting for the interview they all talk about the same tech stack same project architecture right what is what is the uniqueness it's all about the challenges and optimizations what you have done right in spark or bigquery whatever it is you have to talk about it so you don't have something with you then search it so go for chat gpt search for it go for google search for it and connect to a lot of professionals in linkedin and just talk to them one on one just talk to them and get all the challenges what they faced and how optimization they have done so the, in the entire video this is the important point that you have to consider optimization and challenges okay and then the next goal okay what is the next goal that as a data engineer that i should have see the world is moving towards ai right so the next thing what you have to keep in your goal in your list is please start prepare yourself with respect to ai so the roadmap will be very simple so i i mean to say the roadmap is very simple okay so the next goal is going to be an ai then you have to start with data science and then machine learning deep learning and then ai so it's not like a quick one i'm asking you to do just keep it as a goal take your time like a year or two you just take your time but this is very important okay uh, people the industry is expecting the data people should be a full stack data developer that that means you should be a data engineer you should be a data analyst and you should be a data scientist and you should be an ai engineer right and that is how we can able to sustain in the market let's discuss about the big data job market so we all know like how the market has been impacted in the last year but the next year we all hoping for good so i could see a lot of job openings in job portals like linkedin and then other job portals so let me show you some of the job opening requirements that I could able to see in my LinkedIn jobs. Okay, so you can see there is a lot of jobs guys like we have in Walmart, Amazon, Google. There are so many companies across India I could able to see the openings for data engineers, right? So let's hope for best and let's try to do it and let's try to add all the skill set whatever I have told you. All the best guys and if you really like this video, please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues. And I do a lot of data related videos in my channel. Please have a look. And I have given my LinkedIn and Instagram in the description box. Once again, thanks for watching.